today on our 2010 Hyundai Elantra, we'll be installing the Roadmaster Universal High Power Diode Wiring Kit, part number RM-154. Now to begin our installation, here at the bumper, we'll install a bracket for our four pole. With that installed, we'll go ahead and take our four pole here on the front of the vehicle and attach it to our bracket. With that done, we'll go ahead and route our wiring toward the back of the vehicle to the tail lights. Now as we're routing our wiring, we'll want to make sure that we stay away from any hot components such as the vehicle's exhaust or moving components like the vehicle's suspension in order to keep our wire in good shape. This will prevent it from getting hot like it would next to your vehicle's exhaust or from being broken like it would from being next to your vehicle's suspension. Now back here on the back of the vehicle, we'll find a rubber grommet on the driver's side rear fender. We'll go ahead and cut the grommet to allow our wiring to pass through it. We're now in the vehicle's trunk. We'll undo this Phillips head screw here on the carpet Peel the carpet back and expose the wiring. We'll then route it up here underneath the carpet to our driver's side tail light. Now this vehicle already has an aftermarket four pole harness installed on it. So we'll be using this harness to tap in for our four pole on the front that will go to the RV. Now with the remaining wire that we just ran, we're gonna strip the white wire off as well as the green wire. The white wire, we can go ahead and cut off at a ring terminal. And ground it here in where our trailer wiring is grounded. With that done, we'll take our green wire, pass it back through underneath the carpet, and route it toward the passenger side. We'll now take our brown wire from the four pole harness that we just ran, and we'll cut it here. We'll now take the extra brown wire that we cut, we'll use this brown wire to run over to our passenger side tail light for our four pole harness from the RV. We'll now strip back the insulation on both the brown wire that's single, as well as the brown wire that's on our four pole harness coming from the RV. We'll twist them together and attach a spade terminal from one of the diodes to it. We'll then take the vehicle tail light wire coming out of the harness here on our vehicle aftermarket trailer harness, which is our tail light. We'll cut it, strip back the insulation, and take the part of the wire that comes from the vehicle's wiring and attach a spade terminal to it. The other side will attach another spade terminal. This will be the three connecting points to our diode. We'll take the spade terminal from the manufacturer's wiring and plug it in to the side of our diode that has the two terminals. We'll then take the spade terminal that comes from the RV wiring and plug it into the other terminal on the same side of the diode. Finally, the spade terminal that leads to the tail light will plug in the other side of the diode. Now with that diode in, we'll go ahead and repeat the same procedure, connecting our left turn signal, brake signal, repeating the same process, installing it. Now that we have our driver's side wired up, we'll take the brown wire and the green wire and route them over to the passenger side. We'll pass them back up through the carpet to our right tail light housing. We'll now connect the remaining two diodes into our right side tail light wiring. Now keep in mind this vehicle does have a separate turn signal, brake signal, tail light signal coming from it. So the wiring may be different on your vehicle.
Now with our connections made here on the passenger side, our wiring's in, which will complete our installation of the Roadmaster Universal High Power Diode Wiring Kit, part number RM-154 on our 2010 Hyundai Elantra.